Welcome back, Bow Plus community. Thank you guys so much for joining me again for another vlog. Today, we are going to dive into how I am starting some of my seeds indoors. Yes, indoors. It is a little bit early here in Ohio to start seeds indoors. However, the seeds that I will be starting today, I will be growing inside of grow bags. And I'm super excited to just get that early harvest from these seeds and then closer to March, mid-March, I'll be starting another set of seeds to go out to my in-ground garden bed as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get these seeds started so that I can get them in the grow bags and allow them to reap all the wonderful benefits that our winter season and our early spring season has to offer with the cooler weather as these crops love the cooler temperatures as well. So I'm going to just break down what I'm going to use in regards to starting these seeds indoors and then I'm going to just show you guys how I actually do it, where I place the seeds, and kind of walk you through the process as well. So let's go ahead and dive into starting these seeds. So today I'm actually going to be starting my collard greens. I'm so excited about this. I finally found some collards. I've been looking for them for a while and I got a hold of collard greens. So I'm going to be starting these because collard greens love the cooler weather and they taste a little bit better when the frost hits them, right? And right now our weather is still cool. We're actually expecting a snowstorm here in Ohio that's going to be starting today through tomorrow. So um, by the time you see this video, the storm will be over with, but collars love the cooler weather so I'm going to go ahead and get some of these seeds started to put inside of my grow bags so that they can take advantage of the winter and the early spring weather and I'll be able to harvest them in our early spring as well and then I'll also plant some later. Then I'm going to be doing some winter choy. Um, I love bok choy so this is another variety of the bok choy. This is also another uh, frost hardy vegetable that you can plant as well. So I'm going to be doing winter choy. I have some spinach that I'm going to be starting as well. And then of course around this time typically in the Ohio region you want to go ahead and get your onions started early as well. So here's some of the onions that I'm going to be starting um, as well. So to start my seeds, I am doing the old school method or the method that I see my great grandmother do and my grandmother do, and that is uh, germinating my seeds with paper towel, a spray bottle, and of course a plastic baggie. So you guys, what I'm going to do is basically just take my seeds, sprinkle them onto the paper towel. I'm going to wet the paper towel um, very generously, not where it's like dripping wet, but generously. And then I'm going to place the seeds inside of the corresponding um, freezer bag. Now, I did label my freezer bag just so that I know what is what and um, it's easy for me to just keep track of it. Also, you guys, you know, if you watch my previous video on how I keep my seeds organized, I have containers for everything. This is my collard green container, if you can see that. And inside of the container, you guys, I talked about keeping note cards. Um, and I break all that down in that video. So go make sure you check it out because I talk and I drop a, a lot of good information on how you can stay organized, especially if you are new to gardening. But um, one thing that I will be doing as well is I have my note card inside of my collard greens and the others that I'm getting ready to plant as well. So I'm going to say what day I actually started the seeds, how long did it take them to germinate, did all of them germinate. I'm going to just keep uh, very detailed notes on how I'm doing this, the process, how many days, everything that I'm doing um, throughout the process up until harvest time. And then I'll keep this right inside of my container so everything is kept together. And at the end of the season, I can go back and read through my notes, see what I need to do better next year. Or even because I'm starting these seeds now, when it's time for me to start seeds um, in March or direct sowing come May and June, I can look back at my notes and say, okay, this didn't germinate well. What did I do? How can I change it? So that way, as I'm starting my seeds at different times, I can just get better and better and better to ensure that I have a, a bountiful harvest, right? So 
keep your notes make sure you keep a journal make sure you take a really good note so that you can continue to grow once you get your seeds in the bags and you let them sit for seven to ten days seven to fourteen days however long it takes to germinate you want to make sure that you have your containers ready that you are going to transplant your little germinated seed into so there are several ways that you can do this i'm still deciding how i exactly want to do this because i've never done container gardening before and I'm not directly sewing them into the containers so I can either put them inside of these containers that I kept for my last garden season um, so that they can get a little bit bigger before I actually transplant them to the container where they will continue to grow or um, I can put them in one of the cells seedling cells so my recommendation is just to have everything that you may need right on hand so that you can make the best decision for yourself. You can also use the grow bags. Um, I showed the grow bags in one of my other videos. I will link that below as well. So there's three ways that you can do it. You can put it in the bigger, the bigger seedling cells so that they can grow a little bit bigger before you transplant them. You can, which is probably what I would do. I don't think I will put them in the smaller ones just because um, I want them to be bigger. So I'll probably end up putting them in here so that they can get a little bit bigger and then transplant them directly into my um, containers. Or I will directly plant them into the containers I will let you guys know I'm, I'm still weighing that out which would be the best option I might do half and half just to take you guys along on the journey and let you guys know which one I feel was better but my thought is if I put them inside of these containers they can get a little bit better and I can put them under my grow light so that they can continue to grow and get um, and get uh, more mature and then transplant them into the grow bags and by that point they'll be ready to go out on my back deck or on my front sun porch wherever I choose to set that set that up but again you guys my next video I will probably um, give you guys an update on how the seedlings are doing from the bags and transplanting them so I will walk you through it I'll show you step by step what I'm doing and how I am doing it and then I'll also give you guys my thought process behind why I did it now I am new to gardening I've been very open and transparent about that from the beginning so if you are more experienced and you are checking out my video please leave down in the comments um, what your recommendation may be do you think I should just go ahead and transplant them to this put them under the grow lights or should I just go ahead and put them inside of the grow bags have the grow bags under grow lights let me know down in the comments this is a team effort uh, we do all things good together right so let me know but let's go ahead and dive into setting these up and uh, showing you guys how I do that So here you see me uh, just spray down the paper towel and I'm actually getting ready to add the onion seeds to the paper towel. Just space it out so that you give your seedlings the opportunity to um, germinate and have enough space. Once you space all your seeds out, you're gonna give your paper towel another good spray down. And then you're gonna fold the towel in half. Uh, spray it again, use your judgment on if you need to spray it again. You don't want the paper towel to be dripping wet, but you want it to be pretty saturated. Once you do that, you're gonna pat it down to ensure that your seeds are nice and still. Place it inside of the freezer bag. Thank you. 
once you have it inside of the freezer bag, you're gonna spray it again and then just seal up the bag. So another thing that I enjoy doing is just getting some paper clips and as you've seen there, me clipping the bag so it stays closed. If you check out my uh, organization video, I do share some other ways that you can keep your seeds um, sealed and closed as well. So make sure you check that out. But I also want to say one thing that I love about this uh, germinating method is that once you have your seeds all in the baggie and you let it sit in a cool or in a warm dark uh, area for you know 7 to 14 days or however long your seed packet recommends is that you'll actually be able to see exactly what seeds germinated which means there's no guessing in that so when you go to pot them inside of your seed cells um, you know for a fact that that seed germinated and all you have to do is continue to nurture it so that it will continue to cultivate and mature so this is one reason as to why I love this method. You also see me here using what I like to call a weeding tool um, to separate the seeds as well. So. Some of the smaller seeds that you have, you may need a tool to just help guide you into separating the seeds onto the paper tile.
So here you see me storing the seeds inside of my kitchen cabinet that is not against an outside wall. I have it sitting on a pillowcase and another towel and I'm going to just fold the towel up just to keep the seeds warm and again you want to keep them in a warm and dark place and I'm going to let them sit for the next seven days and I'll be back to check in on them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on today. That is how um, or one method of how I will be preparing my seeds this year. Um, I will be using the um, paper towel and freezer bag method. I will also be doing the direct sew method. So make sure you guys continue to stay uh, up to date. Please hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Come hang out with me on Clubhouse as I'm also teaching classes over there in regards to essential oils, gardening, and autoimmune and lupus conversations. So all of those links will be posted below. Uh, my website always have up-to-date information as well, so you guys can check that out. So that is how I started my seeds today. I will continue to update you guys on how they are doing, so make sure you stay tuned for that next video. And until next time, you all have an amazing week. Stay blessed, stay warm, stay safe, and both plus love you guys. Mwah.